Okay, guys. So, as I promised, I will make a part two. So, as you can see here, everything is working fine. This is my CR10S board upgrade. I haven't upgraded the Z axis and the filament. Um, and the filament detection module I haven't upgraded that as yet I will do a part 3 for that but for now I just want to show you the board is working fine so my initial setup where I showed you in the previous video all the wire connection is correct I guess because as you can see the bed is heating I could feel the heat I could feel the, the heat from the uh, extruder from the nozzle I mean um so yeah and i will show you that this one i will show you how i'm gonna be controlling now the um the motors each access i'll show you it's working fine so i'm gonna move now by i'm gonna move the z x axis I don't know if you can see it. I'm moving the x-axis, so it's working fine. So this is a test. I will move uh, the z-axis as well. No, the y-axis first, and then we'll move the z-axis. And you can see, it's working fine. So the board is working. All the connections seems to be fine, I guess. And now I'll move the y-axis. The Z axis and you can see the Z axis is working fine as well. So the next test we'll be doing is the extruder. Let's see if it's what's still sitting up I guess. Uh, let me see. No, it's heating up. The heating is normal. It's fine now. It should. I have PTG filament. So I'm going to extrude some filament for you guys just to test it out. Um, so control prepare. I'm going to extrude it. So this one also has auto auto bed leveling. I just noticed that there's an option for auto bed leveling. So I will be also installing the auto bed leveling in part four maybe or part three. So we're gonna go one step at a time, okay? So let's see if we could extrude some filament. I can't seem to find the option for that. Prepare control. Supposed to be on the same as moving. Why oh, is not showing that option? Prepare. How are we gonna do that now? Yeah, I can't seem to find that option. Move access. Okay, I did. Oh, okay, move access and then extruder. Okay, let's see, extrude some filament for you guys. Let's see if it's gonna work. Is it running? I don't know if it's blocked, maybe it's blocked. It was this thing here, a little bit dried out filament. Yep, yeah, you can see some filament coming up, but I don't know if my camera is gonna pick it up. Yep, yeah, you can see some filament is coming out. So filament extrusion is working perfectly normal. So now the next step is to upgrade the z-axis and um, and the, um, the auto bed leveling. And so there are three things I'll be doing on my next video: auto bed leveling, the z-axis, and the filament uh, detection module. Stay tuned.